Welcome to part three of tips for creating winning shirt designs that sell. In this video, we're going to discuss how you can create original designs by repurposing winning designs from other t-shirt brands. And then secondly, how you can scale out a winner once you've found one. Now, I just want to start by saying two things real quick. Number one, if you haven't seen part one and two of this series, I'm going to include the links below. So definitely check those out. And number two, just to reiterate from the part two of the series, please do not steal designs. There are so many ways to create original winning designs by getting inspiration or repurposing existing winners from other t-shirt brands, but just outright stealing a design is just unethical and wrong. So with that out of the way, let's jump right in. Number one, let's talk about how you can create orig original t-shirt designs by repurposing winning designs from other t-shirt brands. Now, what I wanna get across here is that I want you to focus on the design elements, not just the design itself. So it's important to realize that there can be a number of factors that contribute to a winning design. In a lot of cases, the font style, the color, the design size, and the design placement all play a crucial role in that design. So what you can do is you can repurpose a winning design from another brand while maintaining the design elements. So for example, let's say that you are in the cat niche and or you're in the dog niche and you see a, um, a design in the cat niche that says cats make me happy, you not so much, and it's totally crushing it. And by some miracle that hasn't been taken in the dog niche, which I know it has, but for this example, let's say it hasn't been taken. What you can do is you can change out the design, just change out the word cats for dogs. So instead of the winning design for cats make me happy, not so much, you're gonna create one for your niche, which is dogs in this example that says, dogs make me happy, you not so much. And what you're gonna do is not only that, now you've created a totally original design because it's for a totally different niche, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna maintain those design elements. So look at the font style, the color, the design size, and the design placement, and just try to make them as similar as possible. Number two, let's talk about scaling out a winning design once you have found one. So let's say you do dogs make me happy, not uh, you not so much, and it completely starts crushing it for you. What you can do is you can actually scale this out even further. And what I mean by that is you can go a layer deeper with the design. So instead of just saying dogs in general, what you can do is you can get breed specific. You can say poodles make me happy, you not so much. Create a design that says pitbulls make me happy, you not so much. Pugs make me happy, you not so much. You can literally do this for every breed. And I'm telling you, the more relevant and specific the design is for the customer, the more likely they are to Bye. So um, I hope you guys found this helpful. If so, please help me out by liking and commenting to help push the uh, to help the algorithm push this out to more t-shirt brand owners and follow me for more t-shirt brand tips.